About a dozen hot air balloons lit up Coney Island tonight as the 22nd annual balloon glow returned to the park. Local 12's Genesis Narrows takes us there and shares why this year will be extra memorable for one balloon pilot. It's my favorite event of the whole weekend of all the 4th of July stuff is Coney Island balloon glow. We bring mattresses. <laughs> That's what it looks like, but I got to be comfortable. The Coney Island balloon glow is extra special for the Keith family. It's tradition and unfortunately, this is my dad's last year doing it. Dan Keith. I've been flying for 33 years now. The pilot behind the balloon is calling it a career. And it's been one of the great joys of my life. He's flown his balloon at Coney Island for more than a decade straight. My children and my family grew up around balloons. In fact, the first time that character right there was in a balloon, he was in his mommy's tummy. <laughs> and as his grandkids will tell you. It's kind of like, it's exhilarating. All the balloons are out and it look, they like, they all glow up and like you can see the tops of them and stuff through the trees, it's really cool. Illuminating the sky. It's like magic. You're going to be overwhelmed. It's an event like no other. I like to look up and like see all of them like flashing some at different times. It's just when I see it, it's just mind blowing. I can't sometimes I can't even process it. And while this may be the last time Dan Keith's balloon will fly high here at Coney Island, he says he'll still be flying, but now just as a private pilot reporting from Coney Island, Genesis Narrows, Local 12 News. Along with the balloons, Rosie's famous fireworks ended the night.